É pouco! Welcome back guys. See, I already knew you were gonna be back because that first video was good. But the second video is gonna be even better because we're gonna be ripping the dashboard right out of this Corolla with these, of course, because everything's so expensive. But guys, do me a favor before we start and jump on this car, go be a subscriber. If you're not already a subscriber, hit the bell notification to get all the great, amazing videos that are to come. Hit every notification that you see on there. Everything light it up because you are not going to want to miss the content that is to come. And like I said, if you're not a subscriber, then what are you doing, guys? You're irrelevant. Get with the trends. Let's go be a subscriber. Now, we're about to rip this dashboard out. Do we know how to do it? No, of course we don't, but we're about to figure it out. And our mistakes is gonna be your guys' progression. So let's go, let's rip a dashboard out in three, two, one, boo! So we're gonna start ripping out this dashboard. We're gonna have, we have all kinds of screwdrivers. We've got the long screwdriver, we've got the stubby screwdriver, we've got the fat one, the skinny one, the short one, everything. We're about to start diving into it. Like I said, we don't know how to do this, but we're about to find out. All of me be looking for a JDM steering wheel. This thing looks like, uh, if you guys watch Pokemon, it looks like one of the Pokemon badges. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, it broke. <laughs> Just kidding. It looks that old, oh my God. I'm gonna get this car right. Man, I'm over here struggling, sweating, and uh, I realized I had a D-Wall. What's up? Let's get this thing cranked up. One or 10 notches. Let's go. If anybody's looking for an 80 year old speaker, I got one for sale right here. Tin box, Japan. Let me know if you guys know of any upgrade speakers of this size or what you guys have done to upgrade your speakers. Uh, I'm curious to know. All right, looks like I got the last bolt. But hey, something's caught on to here. There's a vacuum hose right here. Eee! Easy peasy, little 15 minute workout. Let's get this thing out. This thing's brittle, brittle. All right, as you can see, we got this dashboard out. It was fairly easy to get out. It took me like 15, 20 minutes to get out. So you can see it's got a bunch of cracks and crevices there. Eee. So we're gonna restore this thing. It's gonna look mint condition. It's gonna look like brand new when it came out of the 86 lot. Stay tuned. So what's happening right now is I'm having trouble sleeping because I, I've gotten to this part and if, for those of you guys that know the 86 Corolla or have some car similar to it, you guys know that things have a, a support bar, a brace bar. This one's completely rusted and I can't sleep. Maybe it's just me, but usually people who are building their cars, if they see a problem like that, they're, they're not just gonna cover it up. So I'm thinking I should probably pull it out yeah, mm-hmm. I think I am gonna pull it out so I can get some sleep at night because I've been pondering on this. Should I just go ahead and rip it out or and, and clean it up? I'm talking about it right now because I already loosened all the screws up. And this thing is about to come out in three, two, one. I, I, I try to tell y'all. I couldn't sleep at night, so I went ahead and I grabbed the wrench and started turning and turning and turning. By the time I knew it, this whole thing was already out. So thank you guys for confirming what I already knew I should do. So we have a couple of uh, rust areas that are very minimal in this car. And the only thing that I trust and use is, as my Hispanic friends like to call it, Por 15. This thing's amazing and it's gonna look so good in this car. So we're gonna go ahead and try it, tackle it, and get to it. I'm gonna be prepping the area for the PR15. It's not much, but 
Uh, I think the more rust you take off, the better that PR15 will work. Yeah, let's jump into it. So we have put the PUR15 on the car and it set very, very well. We actually did three coats just to be sure. But right now we're about to set our uh, Rockville mat on the bottom. This thing is amazing. It's gonna reduce a lot of the road noise. It's gonna reduce a lot of the heat from coming in. Uh, vice versa when the AC is kicking on because we are gonna have AC in this car. Uh, it'll remain fresh and uh, yeah. So let's jump on and throw this bad boy, boom. We're finally able to lay down the mat. Let me show you what the car looks like with the mat. Come on, follow me, come on. So now that we're done with the mat, just like that, we're gonna go ahead and jump into painting some panels. Let's go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab our brush, it's somewhere in here. Right here, and we're gonna start washing. We're gonna start scrubbing all the dirt off, all the grime. Remember, this thing hasn't been washed since 86. So just imagine, uh, you do the math, the calculations, there's a lot of dirt in here. So uh, I'll be selling bags of dirt, let me know. So let's get to washing. All right, so now that we got all our parts washed up thoroughly and set to the side, now we're gonna scuff them up with this uh, scotch pad. So we hit the first coat. Now this is gonna be a repetitive thing. This is gonna be the first three parts of about 45 parts. So yeah, you kind of get the, uh, the trend of it, but we're gonna keep doing this about another three, three, four times. And we'll show you the complete results when we're done. And that is pretty much the process for all of them. It's gonna be a long day cause we gotta do 45 pieces. So let's get started. All right, so after we finished coating all the plastic pieces, around 45 to 50 pieces, this is what we did, and this is what it looked like. So as you can see, we actually wrapped them all up, and we're gonna send them off to a land far, far away. Just kidding. This is what uh, all the people, all the pieces looked. We wrapped them up in uh, shrink wrap. I don't know, I've always done this, and if and they, I mean, it, they store correctly and right, nothing scratches them or anything like that, so. Uh, all the pieces are ready to go. It's literally about 45 to 50 pieces. So as soon as we put the dashboard back in, we're gonna start to just quickly put all the plastic pieces back and they're gonna look amazing. So yeah, let's go. Progression, that's what we're after. It's going fast. All right guys, so we've been working on the 86 Toyota Corolla support bar. The, one that we, the rusted one we pulled out from the inside of the car. And let me give you guys a quick little update. So as you can see, this is what it started off at, looking really rusty. And as you can really see, you have a lot. The majority of the rust is already coming out. Wow, it looks amazing. Woo! And the key ingredient is this muriatic acid. We filled up this 32-gallon container and we threw in the muriatic acid and yeah it's looking really good so we're trying to finish this project of course but whenever you're building a car you run into things and you're literally battling in your mind should i or should i not and i should i am i will let me show you what i'm talking about so as you can see this is the air box and all the um the foam in between the air boxes are brittle and falling apart the climate control is like super hard so i'm gonna grease it out so i wasn't going to do it but i'm gonna take this whole thing out and i'm gonna clean it yeah i am so some of y'all will get me others are gonna be like don't waste your time but i'm gonna be running ac on this car so I need those uh, air boxes to be clean, clean. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this thing out. A few minutes, a couple bolts, and uh, we'll see how much work it actually is. Wish me luck. All 
All right, guys, so we finally took out, not everything, but as you can see right there, everything's pretty hollow. So we were able to take out uh, the flam fan blower and then uh, part of the, con uh, the inner condenser here. I think that's what it was. Um, and yeah, we just left this one in there because it is a pain in the butt to get out. Uh, you got you to gotta take it out through the engine bay here. Let me show you. Very tight space, but as you can see, those are the holes where the that condenser, the lines came out of. So it's really reduced. So this is part of the AC, I guess, condition unit. But uh, as you can see in the back, it's got two ports and one of them broke off. Yeah. So if you guys are taking this off, be very careful because uh, I think this might be, I don't know if it's aluminum. Uh, but yeah, I might have to get somebody to weld that up, but I'm gonna take this whole thing apart Grease it up clean it up and it's gonna look good. These are some of the other components that I took off uh, The top air vent to the dashboard then I took off this uh, the fan blower It's like super super dirty Woo! Yeah, so like I said, I didn't feel right just leaving it like that and then having the AC and all that junk blown in my face so Took a little bit more time, but I wanted to do it right, so yeah. It's been a long one, it's been a hard one, but we are making progress. As you can see, we've covered a lot of ground, we've made a lot of progress, and there's still so much to do. I don't wanna just uh, start with one part and start working my way around different areas. I'm gonna uh, focus on one part, one area, and get it done, execute, and keep moving forward. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it, you enjoyed it. The next video is gonna be even better. We're gonna be diving into a lot more things and start trying to put the car back together. Thank you guys so much for the love. If you're not yet a subscriber, what are you doing, man? Go subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, hit all the notification once again, and become part of Automotive Projects, family and projects. Thank you guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.